H2O liquid. So uh, this is similar to what you saw with copper. Uh, first, we in, in that case, we had a blue, pale blue solution initially. Then we added sodium hydroxide and we got a blue precipitate, a pale blue precipitate. In this case as well, we get a blue uh, precipitate. So in this case from pink solution we get a blue precipitate in that case from a pale blue solution we got a pale blue precipitate and uh, it's very similar so I'm not going to repeat what happens in this reaction it's very similar to what happened in uh, that reaction so let's move on let's do another ligand substitution reaction of cobalt and then we'll move on to the next part of this presentation. So we, again, we have aqueous cobalt, ac, uh, two plus, plus six NH3, aqueous, giving CO H NH3 sorry NH3 whole six two plus aqueous plus four six H two O liquid. So again, um, not going into the color this time because uh, <laughs> we don't need to know the color for this reaction. We need to know the color for the other reactions. So I've told you and I've uh, mentioned them again later in this presentation. So you don't have to worry about that. Uh, what you need to know is this reaction. You will also you also must have noticed that with copper uh, with an aqueous solution of copper we reacted four NH three, but with that of cobalt we reacted six NH three. So yeah, keep that in mind. These are small things you should remember. Uh, you don't need to know the reason. Just small some small things you need to remember. And uh, for uh, even for metals like aqueous solutions of metals like nickel, nickel for uh, even with the uh, with nickel H two O whole six uh, we will react 6 NH3 uh, 4 NH3 is only for copper uh, aqueous solutions of copper so now let's move forward you've understood these are reversible reactions and it's called ligand exchange because we are replacing one uh, vertic uh, one type of ligand with another and uh, it, you can say ligand exchange ligand substitution ligand replacement all three terms work fine so let's move ahead okay stability constants so uh, like in AS levels you did KC and um, KP which were equilibrium constants for concentration and uh, pressure respectively. Uh, in right now we have uh, another equilibrium constant it's called the stability constant. So as the name suggests K stab or uh, stability constant as it's written here it is basically um, the relative stability of one uh, of one complex ion over the other. So, for example, uh, we have we, uh, so for example we have the reaction. Let's go to the most basic reaction that we did. Uh, Cu H two O. Whole six two plus aqueous plus um I'm sorry uh plus four CL negative Aqueous 
gives 